Can you use the GoPro Hero 9 Black as your main YouTube studio camera? Let's find out. So I have made already two videos on how to use your GoPro as your main YouTube studio camera. If you want to watch one of these videos, I'm going to leave a link up here. But in those videos, I use the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now I have the GoPro Hero 9 Black, which is supposed to give better image quality than the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So let's see how much better the GoPro Hero 9 Black is than the GoPro Hero 7 Black when it comes to using it as a main YouTube studio camera. So first of all, let's start adjusting the settings on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Okay, so let's start dialing in the settings. GoPro Touch is not the most responsive touch, but it's okay. So I'm gonna choose standard profile and we're gonna start adjusting the settings. First of all, resolution and frames per second. Since I want the best image quality possible, I'm going to select 5K and 24 frames per second. If you are shooting in 25 or 30, you can select that, but you can also select 4K if your computer cannot handle 5K footage from the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So resolution is going to be 5K frames per second, 24 frames per second. Let's continue. For the lens, for the field of view, basically I'm going to choose linear field of view. I can choose also narrow, but I don't really want to choose that because I think it's just too much cropped in. So I'm going to choose linear field of view. But honestly, you can choose whatever you like. I just prefer the linear field of view. Hyper smooth, I'm going to turn off obviously because the camera is going to be on a tripod and I want to eliminate as much noise as possible because hyper smooth creates a little bit of noise when you're shooting in dark scenarios like inside your room or inside your studio. Okay, so bitrate, I'm going to choose high because I want the highest bitrate possible to get the best image quality possible. On the GoPro Hero 7 Black, the maximum bitrate was 60 megabits and on the GoPro Hero 9 Black is 100 megabits. We're going to get better image quality with high bitrate settings. Shutter, obviously I'm going to put that double the frame rate, same as my previous videos. So 1 over 48 if you're shooting in 30 frames per second, 1 over 60 if you're shooting in 25 frames per second, 1 over 50 and so on. EV compensation, do not need to touch that. White balance, very important. My light is 5000 Kelvin. Let's select 5000 Kelvin. Okay. okay, so now ISO minimum and maximum, I'm going to set that to 100 minimum and 100 maximum as well to lock the ISO to get the best image quality possible with my GoPro Hero 9 Black. Now I am setting mine to 100 because I have a really powerful light. If you don't have a powerful light, you can set yours to maximum 200 or even 400. But I would suggest not to go above 400 to get the best image quality possible out of your GoPro Hero 9 Black. Then for the sharpness, I'm going to select low sharpness this time because I noticed that the GoPro Hero 9 Black over sharpness everything even at medium sharpness settings. So I'm going to use a low sharpness, not high and not medium, but low sharpness. Color, I'm going to choose GoPro because I'm not going to color grade anything. Audio, I'm not going to touch. Wind, also I'm not going to touch because I'm going to use an external microphone. All right, so now I'm going to connect my GoPro Hero 9 Black to my iPad, so I'll be able to monitor my shots. And then I'm going to create the same look as I created on my previous how to use your GoPro as a YouTube studio camera video. So I'm gonna create first the bright mode, the bright look, and afterwards I'm gonna create the dark mode, the dark look with the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So let's start. Okay, so this is the bright look on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Unfortunately, I can't really monitor myself with the iPad anymore for some reason. As you can see, it says here preview not available, but I am able to see myself in the front facing screen on the GoPro Hero 9 Black, but as you can see, it's pretty laggy. 
So I guess because I'm filming in 5K, I am not able to record and at the same time monitor myself with my iPad or my iPhone or any smartphone for that matter. Let me know down below how this uh, video looks like, how the quality looks like, because this is the first time that I'm trying out the GoPro Hero 9 Black as a YouTube studio camera. Does it look better than the GoPro Hero 7 Black or not? Let me know again down below. So let me show you now exactly what tools I'm using to achieve this look. Uh, I have a big light right here, nice big softbox, Godox SL60W light, just above my face, the GoPro is here, and it goes towards that direction. I'm using this light as a rim light. This is my VGIM VL196 light. And here I have my beautiful plant. And I also have my Falcon Eyes F7 just splashing some light on the plant to make a little bit more interest in the background. And obviously I'm using my Rode Smart Love Plus microphone to record the audio with the Zoom H1N. Okay, so now let's create the dark mode look on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. And this is the dark mode moody look. Let me know down below how it compares to the bright look that I showed you before. The only thing that I changed uh, in this look compared to the previous one is that I added this grid so the light won't spill all over the place. So I'll have the light just on me as much as possible. And so I'll be able to control more my background lights uh, to kind of give a little bit more mood to the shot. I'm really curious to see if the GoPro Hero 9 performs better as a YouTube studio camera than the GoPro Hero 7 Black because this is the first time, like I said, that I'm using, trying to use the GoPro Hero 9 Black as a YouTube studio camera. So again, let me know down below if you like it or not, or if it looks better than the GoPro Hero 7 Black or not. Unfortunately, like I said before, I can't really monitor my shots with my iPad or with my iPhone in 5K. Maybe I'll be able to do so with 4K, but the front-facing screen is really handy because I can still kind of see myself and see if I'm well exposed and in the frame or not. Right now, actually, I can see that my face is a little bit underexposed because my light is not powerful enough for 100 ISO with the grid. So I think in ideal condition, I will switch the ISO on the Hero 9 Black in this dark and moody look for 200 to have a little bit more light, but it still kind of looks okay in my personal opinion. So I guess this is it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below, and I guess I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.